I may have made a big mistake. Hi, everybody. Welcome back once again to 2019 of, let's just put it out there. I think I made a mistake saying the Ender 3 is probably one of the best printers that Creality has come out with. And I'll explain it a little bit. I bought the Ender 3 under everybody raving about the Ender 3, how good it is. It is a good printer. But there's something here that's come up that kind of freaked me out. Is that the Ender 3 could be a fire hazard. Now, I'm not saying all Enders or the Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro, for that matter, are fire hazards. But with a lot of things that have been coming up and a lot of stuff I've been reading on Reddit and finding out and <laughs> experiencing on my own power supply, let's talk about this. I'm going to try to give you some zoomed up pictures, but I just want you guys to have a look at this right now. So you see that right there? I peeled off the plastic to have a look at the ends. Those are crimped. They're physically, by a machine, crimped on the TX60 connector. They should not be crimped. What they can cause is they cause the actual end to overheat and melt. Now... I'm not sure how far that goes into all enders. And I could really use the help of the community. If you have an ender, check it. Just, you know, set your bed to 60. Within an hour, feel the back of that connector. That connector is hot to the touch. Then it's been crimped. And I'd like to know, when did you buy your printer? Leave the comments down below if you experienced it or not. But with me dealing with this and with Brian Baker also showing me pictures of his crimped wires and rehearing about other people getting crimps and the fact that they were able to crimp the T60 connector, TX60. No, I didn't believe it myself until I saw pictures. And I went, okay, is mine? Because mine are really rounded. So I, you know, took my scissors, cut into it. First of all, I also noticed that the wire's gotten hot. That has melted it. Check that out. That is not good. The plastic was melting. I'm sorry. Like, solder. It's five cents. It would have been better to solder these connectors. I mean, okay, Creality. Sure, you don't turn on thermal runaway. Okay, fine. I, I, I understand. I have to do that part. But now you add another fire hazard? What, are you guys trying to be aim it? That's dangerous. Literally. Sure, I know the AMETs catch on fire all the time. But that is not well. I mean, to crimp these? But you can pour solder in there. No, I'm not going to pour solder in there. I don't know if these connectors are now legit T60, XT60s, or they're counterfeit units they got. Not knowing that they were counterfeit. If that's the case, then fine. I, uh, you know what? Fine, I understand. But if this is happening on all the enders that are coming out now, I just can't put my, I just can't tell you from the goodness of my heart, go out and buy an Ender 3 now. When I put out that video beforehand saying, go get an Ender 3. Oh, man. The problem is, is that when you got printers that we spend lots of money on, expecting them to work out of the box, because whatever we buy usually does. Knowing that this is out of the box working and it could catch your house on fire or cause other types of damage? Now, granted, there's been no fires because of this. But there have been a lot of melted connectors. And I just worry about that one person who has an Ender or Ender 3 Pro and decides to leave it overnight or decides to print in the morning and go out and then comes home and sees his printer on fire. 
I know the likeliness of that happening is slim to nil, but it could happen. We've seen Enders take down houses. We've seen Anets take down houses. At this present time, with what I am seeing and what I've been hearing, I really can't say buying an Ender is a good idea unless you are aware of some of the pitfalls, like this connector catching on fire. This is un... This is scary. I'll put it straight out there. Scary. Um, what can I say about the Ender 3? I don't know now. Finding out that my Ender 3 was like that and that the wires were already scorched worries me. I mean, all I did was just cut into the wire and I was even cutting on... I was cutting right here. The back end. And when I looked at it, I noticed the wire was all kind of wonky to begin with anyways. And when I looked at it, I noticed it was all melted. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. You know, leave your comments down below. I'd like to know what your Ender 3s are like right now. Are you scared to turn them on? Are you going to replace the XT60 connectors? Oh, man, I'm... I'm at a loss of words right now because I now have to go and spend more money to fix this printer. This printer was working great out of the box. Now I have this story about. <laughs> Guys, check your Ender 3s. Make sure they're not overheating. And, uh, yeah. Don't know what else I can say. But thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like what I've just talked about. Like it if you like what I'm talking about. You know. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ran into this yet or not. You know what? I'm a little disappointed, but. <sighs> yeah. Thank you, everyone, and have yourselves a great day, and remember, be safe out there. Thanks.